How do you get the most out of a mentor? <laughs> I'm probably the worst person to ask this question because I'm not good at asking for help. I've never been that good at asking for help. And I don't naturally enjoy talking to people. And so that makes it even worse. Um, but I mean, to be successful, you got to ask for help. You have to find a mentor. And so, you know, I want an easier life. I want a happier life. So of course, I've had to find ways to do this and it's brought me a lot of joy. It's just not something that's natural to me. So other people probably have better ways to do this. Um, but two ways that I found that work for my life and based on you know how hard it is for me to do it, um, being an introvert and not being you know used to talking about my life with people. So the first thing is I have to really clear my mind and be open to new advice. And this isn't as simple as it seems. You just can't tell yourself, okay, Isaac, be more open. Or there's not like, it's not like a literal door, you just can't open something in you. Um, it's really um, a lot of things you have to do over time to open your mind and be open to new ideas. Um, because normally when I get advice from a mentor, my first reaction, if you take like a couple years ago, would be to instantly reply back with the reason that, with what they said, why what they said won't work in my life. And how I already thought about it, how I already thought about their idea, and it won't really work. Um, and, you know, something that you don't understand my conditions, or your life is different than mine. Um, I don't have this, or I don't have that. Or some, you know, some excuse of how I thought I thought about that already, and so it's not an option. Um, and that, that is obviously when you're not open to advice. <laughs> so if you're doing that, if you're instantly replying back, whether it's verbally or in your mind, you, you should know, I might not be too open to advice. Um, so when listening to my mentors now, I try to give them the benef benefit of the doubt. When I hear their advice, I try to stop myself from rejecting it or coming up with any reason that it won't work. And I ask myself, you know, how could that work in my life? Um, how could I apply that in my life? Sometimes a thought comes to my head that, no, they don't, they don't understand, they don't have, know enough about me. Um, which a lot of times isn't true. They actually know a lot about me and they're giving me the advice knowing that. And it's up to me just to kind of, you know, think about what they're telling me and actually try to apply it in my life. And, that, and it's really hard. So keeping an open mind, when they, you hear something, don't reject it, take it in, see how you can do it. And you know, if you, after all that, if you can't, then you gotta, you gotta stop or not do what they're telling you. But a lot of times when I thought instantly that that won't work in my life, as I opened myself and looked at my life, I, I realized, well, they're telling me actually an answer to make my life a lot better. Now, the second thing, because I'm not used to going to a mentor and asking them about my life or, you know, telling them about my problems, um, I, I really have become focused on observing people as well. I try to mimic uh, my mentor's life. And I pay attention to how they treat people, the habits they have, like when are they waking up? When am I waking up? What are they eating? Um, what am I eating? Or, you know, what do they spend their time on? What do I spend my time on? And I begin looking at my mentors and I begin trying to copy their life in a way um, because I see that they know something that I don't. Um, and of course, this now requires time with them. I have to see them, I have to know about them. And a lot of times I'll go out of my way um, because my way normally does not involve a lot of people. So I have to go out of my way a lot of times to spend time with my mentors. Um, for instance, once a week, I will go with my dad to the gym. Um, and when we go to the gym, I don't do anything that I want to do. I don't plan on doing anything. My whole objective when I go to the gym with him, because I only do it one, once a week, is I just want to listen to what he's doing in life, and I want to tell him what I'm doing in case he sees anything that he needs to give me advice on. Um, and that's my only objective. And so I don't get a whole lot of done when I go to the gym, but I get a lot done because that's my time with a mentor. You have to find time to spend time with your mentor. It's the only way, the best way actually, I think, to spend time with them because then you really begin to see the difference between you and them.
And if you have a good mentor, the difference will be huge. And you can make a lot of adjustments if you just begin asking yourself, why are they like this and why am I like this? And I've seen a lot of big changes, whether it's waking up earlier, um, whether it's working harder, whether it's eating better. Um, I've changed a lot just by having such great examples and spending time with them.